Hello, my name is David Zimmer. I'm the MPP for Willowdale. Welcome to my MPP report. I'm joined today with Dr. Tim Rutledge, who's the president and CEO of the North York General Hospital, which is just at the edge of my riding. North York General Hospital is one of the premier hospitals in Ontario and in the GTA. I've just got some statistics here that Dr. Rutledge gave me just to give you a, an idea of the size of the operation. About 400,000 patient visits a year at the hospital, 6,000 births, 116,000 emergency visits, and about 40,000 surgeries a year at North York General Hospital. It's an enormous undertaking, and I'm uh, welcoming Tim Rutledge, the physician in charge of the hospital. Welcome, Tim. Thank you very much, David. Uh, I've been the MPP uh, up in that area now for uh, 10 years, and I have to say that uh, the North York General Hospital has a reputation in Ontario and in the GTA of being one of the jewels in the crown of Ontario's health care system. So I congratulate you on that. Well, thank you very much. That's very nice to hear. So with an operation that size, what's been keeping you busy lately? Well, as you've pointed out, we're quite busy with uh, the clinical work that we do. But we've also been very enthusiastic in pursuing our strategic plan, which we completed last year in April. And the fundamental principle of this strategic plan is patients come first in everything we do. And we've been really focused on that. Uh, and then the two major strategic directions of the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, the first being uh, the pursuit of excellence in integrated patient-centered care. And the second, building on our academic foundation. So the, the integrated patient-centered care, we're, we're quite excited mm -hmm. about. This is about, first and foremost, learning what we can from those that we serve to provide better care. And to that end, we've established a patient and family advisory council. And this consists of 20 volunteers who have been patients at our place for the last, uh, in the last two years. And they've provided us really valuable perspectives on how we can better meet their needs. And then integrated care. Uh, and that's about better stitching together care across the continuum. So working very closely with our family physicians and our CCAC partners to provide, provide a better experience across the continuum, looking at those important transitions of care. And so when the government uh, announced the Health Links uh, oh, initiative, yes, 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 we yes. were really excited. We thought this fit so perfectly with our plan. So we, uh, we have signed on as an early adopter and uh, are very enthusiastic in pursuing yeah. that, uh, that initiative. Can you give me some idea of what sort of professional and support staff it takes to run an operation of that size in terms of doctors and nurses and everybody else that contributes right. to the operation? Right. So we have about 3,000 staff Mm -hmm. and we have 800 physicians and many of those are family physicians. One of the features of our hospital is that we've always been very uh, engaging mm -hmm. with our family physicians. We understand how important they are and I think that's going to be an important secret to success mm -hmm. with integrating care better. Yeah. Now with that size of operation, that n number of physicians and, and support staff and the 400,000 patient visits a year, there must be some real opportunities to also work on the teaching side of health care. Absolutely. And you're absolutely right. Uh, we, we think that we have a really important role to provide real world yeah. education. And, and we do. We're very active. We have a number of affiliations. Mm -hmm. University of Toronto is, is one of our major affiliations. And we provide training to uh, over 1,200 nurses per year and over mm -hmm. 800 physicians, uh, physician trainees. Uh, and what we're looking at in this academic plan, a uh, strategic plan, is to continue to build the quality of the mm -hmm. education we provide to those folks. Mm -hmm. We're also planning, David, in, in uh, getting into research that makes sense for our center. So field research, if you will. Uh, research on the many innovations we've done to optimize processes, et cetera. Ah. And, and, um, it also, in addition to the physicians and the support staff and so on, it would take a very committed board of governors and foundation to raise money for the hospital and keep all of that uh, going. How's, how's, uh, how does all that work out with well, that? Well, so we have a very successful and very supportive foundation and foundation board. Mm -hmm. Of course, the foundation board's all volunteers, and our, our board of governors are also uh, very dedicated volunteers who provide excellent guidance uh, in the uh, oversight mm -hmm. of, uh, of the management of the hospital. Well, it's a beautiful hospital, and every time I 
I go there to visit somebody. Fortunately, I've only had to go once or twice myself for some care. But you know, I, I, it's always been a pleasant, pleasant experience. No anxiety at all going to North York General, just the way it operates. Well, that's good to hear. Now, I understand you've got a video which can perhaps give us a, a real sense of the place. Uh, we'd be very pleased to show you that. Uh, we've done some work on it. It does capture yeah. what we're about at the hospital, so why don't we show the Okay, video? well, let's roll the video. Norfolk General Hospital is one of the very few teaching hospitals that has actually embraced culture as a fundamental component. Is its dedication to diversity always evolving and offering opportunities, its dedication to the community as a whole. As a registered nurse, I have a chance to make a difference. I don't only focus on the task at hand, but I also focus on the patient who is looking to receive my care. We work together and we move forward together. We discuss our issues together and create the plans. It's a great way to work. I think you take a walk around the building and you'll find that people really genuinely like each other. They like coming to work. Doing research at North York General will make a world of difference. By teaching, we can make a world of difference. I trained here, we train others here, and the people that we work with, the colleagues, it's a real family atmosphere here at North York. Well, that was a lovely video. It certainly ca captures the atmosphere and the ambience of the uh, of, of the hospital. Expand on it a little bit in your sure. own words. Well, what I love about that video is it does sort of capture the culture that we've uh, been when really quite consciously working on at the hospital for a number of years. So we have been recognized actually as having a, qual a, a culture of quality and safety. A re those two have been mm -hmm, real mm -hmm, major yes. foci of ours. Uh, and so that was recognized last year by Accreditation Canada when we did our accreditation and uh, got accreditation with mm -hmm. exemplary status, as you, as yeah. you know. Uh, on top of quality and safety now, we're adding another dimension to the quality. We're really focusing on that pa patient-centered, patient mm -hmm. and family-centered mm -hmm. care aspect of our culture. So we've done a lot of work. And we've done a lot of work in thinking about engaging the hearts and minds mm -hmm. of our staff. So um, I'm very pleased to say that uh, this year we were recognized mm -hmm. with Canada's top 10 most admired cultures in yes, the public sector. I saw that, I yeah. saw that. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. And I think it's really a testament to, yeah. the, to the work we've done yeah. in that regard. Yeah. Now, of course, it's uh, almost, it's, it's trite to say this, but healthcare is going to be a, a growth industry and a huge challenge as we're moving forward. All the baby boomers, coming forth and the new advances in medicines and the new demands that patients expect and so on. Um, what's the, um, looking into the crystal ball, what's ahead for North York General Hospital to help our communities meet these challenges? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, so as you're very well aware, um, our LIN is one of the fastest growing mm -hmm. LINs in the province and uh, specific to North York General, we've got a real dense population growth. And so we are doing a lot of planning uh, to meet the needs going forward. So we're looking out 10 and 20 years. And there's a number of ways that we are mm -hmm. working yeah. on building capacity. So it's not just about building new beds. Uh, we need to look at new and innovative ways to provide care. We want to continue to provide the right care in the yeah. right place at the right time by the right provider. And so, uh, and we need to focus on keeping people healthy. Yeah. So we've established, uh, as you know, our Center for Complex Diabetic Care, yeah. which is a regional resource to provide yeah. uh, high-end care to those with complex diabetes. We've also established the uh, uh, Pediatric Complex Care mm -hmm. Unit. Mm -hmm. So new models of care focused on keeping people well mm -hmm, to the yeah. extent possible to decrease the demand for inpatient services. Nevertheless, 
with the increasing population and with the aging population, we know that we are going to have to be prepared to accommodate the volumes in the future. So uh, you'll be happy to know that we've been doing a lot of work on our master plan and we are, uh, we've submitted the stage one to the okay. ministry and they'll be reviewing it in, in, uh, in the future and we'll be working with the ministry to, uh, to make preparations for the needs out Good. 20 years from now. So jumping ahead, say, 20 years and people were looking back, what, how would you like them to uh, think about the Dr. Tim Rutledge legacy? Oh boy, well I wouldn't say it's a Tim Rutledge legacy, I would say it's the North York General Team. Yeah. Uh, and I would like to say that we uh, uh, continue to focus on providing the best possible care that is designed mm -hmm. in a way that is that meets the needs of patients. We really need to learn from the patient's perspective how how we can design our care better. So I would hope that it would be high quality care yeah. that that is an outstanding patient experience. Well, that's certainly the uh, the sense that I get when I'm out knocking on doors in the Willowdale and the North York area. Everybody has such pride in the North York General Hospital and it's to, to you and to your professional staff and all your support staff that have built that, that legacy and will continue to build on it. Well, thank you so much, so, David. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Rutledge. It's been a, a pleasure. And uh, I think I'm going to the hospital uh, tomorrow to visit someone I know who's in the hospital. And they're in the hospital, and I've talked to them on the telephone, and they say to me, don't worry, David, I'm being well looked after here. It's actually quite comfortable. Well, that's so good to hear. That's a, a, a tribute to you. All right. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you very much. So I shall leave the, um, I shall leave the last word to our, our um, audience. If you have any uh, questions or want to learn any more about uh, North York General Hospital, contact the hospital. Uh, they've got people there that will answer your questions. Contact my office. I can put you in touch. And um, with that, I shall leave the last word to you, Dr. Rutledge. Well, it's been a pleasure joining you today, and uh, we are looking forward to continuing to improve the service we provide at North Rift Journal. Thank you for joining David Zimmer's MPP report. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rutledge. Thank Good. you.